Hey, Pastor Mark here. Thanks for coming back again today. Uh, it's a beautiful gray day outside. It is fall. The worm has turned, so to speak. That beautiful weather we had has turned more typical now. It's cold, kind of rainy, typical fall, late fall, early winter day. So, so I got some happy words from Jeremiah. Now, there's a kind of an irony, too, because, you know, Jeremiah was kind of a grumpy prophet, uh, kind of gloom and doom. But listen to the words he brings us today. The days are surely coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant that I made with their ancestors when I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, a covenant that they broke, that being the Ten Commandments. Though I was their husband, says the Lord, but this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will put my law within them, and I will write it on their hearts, and I will be their God, and they will be my people. No longer shall they teach one another or say to each other, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me, from the least of them to the greatest, says the Lord. For I will forgive their iniquities and remember their sin no more. Of course, as Christians, we believe that that is Jesus Christ is that new covenant. But the thing is, it is written in our hearts now, literally, that being that Christ has saved us all, that loves and forgives us each day. The Ten Commandments are important for uh, order in our community and for order in our lives, but they are not the things that save us. That's already been done. So live today in the grace of that free gift that God has given you in Jesus Christ. The freedom to be who you were created to be. Loving, forgiving, and being made new each day by that forgiveness and that gift of grace. So remember that in the midst of this pandemic, that life is good, that you are loved, and that there's hope in the morrow. Stay safe, stay well. We're not together physically, but we are spiritually. Hope to see you tomorrow. Take good care.